Oh man, look at this big old boy right here. Oh, you can see right now I'm using these snake tongs to pin this guy and I'm holding them ever so slightly. You don't want to put too much pressure on them just to keep, keep good pressure on them to keep them from moving, but also not to hurt the snakes. You don't want to hurt the snakes. This is the venomous cottonmouth, also called the water moccasin. And we will see if he will chill out for us so we can get some good footage of him. Hey, 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 stop. So you can see right there, that's why we call this guy the cotton mouth. He's got this white lining on the back of his mouth, and even his name, Achistron Piscivorus Leucostoma, Leucostoma means white mouth. Beautiful, beautiful pit vipers that we have here in the state of Texas. You can notice these guys by their common like blackish gray ground color, but then I always love the, the facial stripes that they have going back behind their eyes. To me, that is like their identifying mark. You can always recognize a cottonmouth by these facial stripes right there at the side of their head. And then also whenever they swim, their entire body floats above the water. It's one of the coolest things to see because it's almost like they have attitude while they're swimming. They swim like, yeah, look at me. I'm pretty bad to the bone. I got muscle. I'm bad. You don't want to mess with me. And you got to love that about cottonmouths. To me, they just got this, this air about them, this persona that says, I know how bad my venom is. Don't mess with me. And one of the most common things that I hear about cottonmouths is people will say that these guys will chase you and they're really mean. And I don't know if you could notice, but I mean, this is practically their defensive behavior. They rarely ever bite. And the only way I've gotten some of them to bite is practically by stepping on them. That's not to say that you can't come across one who just doesn't want to be messed with. But this fella right here is extremely laid back. I mean, he's, he's watching himself. That's why he's doing this threatening display. But by no means is he striking, is, by no means is he showing any sign of aggression. They're just, they're pretty laid back snakes. And you want to give them respect, stay away from them if you see them. That doesn't mean go prod them with anything, just let them go. Because cottonmouths, they're, they're very beneficial to the environment. They feed on mice, frogs, uh, other snakes. They'll eat pretty much anything around a pond or whatever body of water they're living by. They typically get somewhere around three feet. I think the record is a little bit over five which will be daggum massive because I commonly catch them about this length right here. You can see right here at the bottom of his mouth, this circle is his breathing tube. And whenever they're swallowing prey items, that breathing tube is actually covered with cartilage. And so it helps it to keep from getting compressed so that way he can breathe while swallowing prey items uh, the same width as his body. His fangs are located right there. They're sheathed right there inside of his mouth. And then he's got his heat seeking pits right there underneath his eyes on the side of his face. And so that's where he can see thermal body heat of the mammals or any other prey item that he's stalking or hunting. And it's cool because the nerve endings actually uh, overlaid with their optical nerve. So their vision is literally like the predator. You know, you, whenever you watch the predator movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger, you see that bomb with the thermal vision, everything's blue and red. This is practically what these guys see in which just makes them BAs in my book because it's so awesome that they can see in predator vision. One of my favorite snakes, the bull Congo, the, the pretty much venomous snake of Texas, the, the venomous snake of the South. People fear these snakes, but I, I love them. I mean, cotton mouse are the, the king of the swamps. And uh, praise God for this guy because this is truly a blessing to see. Cotton mouth, guys.